learning. So thanks so much for coming in, Professor. I wanted to say to you, you know, I had such a great time reading Miss Lou, Louise Bentham, Jamaican culture. Tell me, since retiring from you in, when was it? 2000? 2002. Right. Well, if it's 2002, is this, this isn't your first project since retiring? Um, no, but I doing? have lots of little projects, you know, right. from time to time. I worked with um, Leonie Forbes, the producer. Of right. The oh, yes, exam. yes. That came out a few and years I've ago. And I've written some more introductions mm -hmm. as well. I seem to be writing introductions all the time. <laughs> well, whatever keeps you <laughs> keeps you busy. How does that tie in um, with um, most people know you publicly as a as a poet? And in fact, congratulations on being um, named Jamaica's poet laureate here in 2014. But do, what about your your work in poetry since leaving the university? How has that? Um, well, I've continued writing poems. Mm -hmm. Or if you like dribbling points. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't write a lot, mm -hmm. I rewrite a lot. Okay. Um, you mean in terms of helping uh, new poets? No, I was thinking in terms of my own work now. Okay. Where I, you know, I may have something that looks like it's finished, but I don't let it out. That's how you write as are you? Constantly, <laughs> constantly don't writing and for rewriting. A while. Mm -hmm. So tell me, um, just to. to um, drift aside a bit here. What do you prefer? Do you prefer working on poetry or work such as this biography of Louis um, Bennett? I think I prefer working on poetry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I very much enjoy it because I'm an admirer of Miss Lou, of course. I enjoy doing, you know, the digging, the research. Well, I was going to well. ask you know, I mean, this book, as, as short as it may be, is chock full of details of not only her early life, but her, the development of her career and so on. I mean, how, and looking at the notes and the references and so on, you seem to have done quite a bit of research. Where did your research take you? Um, well, two main places, the National Library here, but also, at a time when I was already far into it, I discovered that up in Canada, the executors were right. sitting on, right. sitting on a, a treasure trove. Right, I can imagine. And so I tried to get them to allow me to look at it. Mm -hmm. And eventually, after they finally passed it over to McMaster, mm -hmm. they allowed me to have a look at it earlier than it was generally available. So I was glad for that. So tell me, how long did you actually research before doing the actual writing? I don't remember, you know. But it's, it's research is such an ongoing thing. Yes, all the I don't time. remember because I've been interested in, you know, right. who he's been for a long time. But, and you worked with her your, yourself, didn't you? Yes, I had the pleasure of helping her with her selected poems, which is, I think, the, that was a major engagement for me. You did, was it the introduction? No, you edited no, the work. I edited right, that, right. and not only that, I had notes and teaching questions. Okay. okay. Um, and that, 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 that was, very, and it meant going to see Miss Lou mostly on a once a week basis for quite a little while. And where did you see her? Gordon up in Town? Gordon Town. Okay. I go up to Gordon Town, yes. You know, I remember as a child driving some, somewhere up that side, and my father pointed out that's Lives, you know, right, you know. right, right. <laughs> and so to read about it and you know hear that it was such a, a welcoming place I can well imagine myself it was nice indeed. to be there so um, tell me you know there's a passage in, in here where you speak about um, calls being made for her to be named as a national hero and I especially love this quote from Kevin O'Brien Chan which is, which is quite long but I'll just read a quick part of it no one has played a greater role in informing Jamaicans about their cultural heritage, and Miss Lou was always more than a brilliant performer. This was before her death. She is in all likelihood the greatest poet this country has produced. But more important than her direct art artistic legacy has been Miss Lou's impact on the national psyche. No single individual has been more responsible for the Jamaican nation's emancipation from colonial cultural slavery. And yet for all her cultural glory, the most compelling reason for Miss Lou's ascension into the official national pantheon is the love she inspires in every Jamaican heart. I can think of no other figure who is so universally beloved by Jamaicans of all 
colors, classes, and creeds. Do you agree with that? I absolutely okay. agree with that. Um, you know, which is one of the reasons why I gave it a prominent place. It was right. right at the end of yes, the biographical exactly. section. Exactly. Um, but there's also another element. If you look at the very last paragraph in the book, um, you'll see that I'm talking also about a kind of moral quality. Mm -hmm. um, I think the phrase I use was she radiated goodness. And this is one of the things that yes, yes. most people who have ever yes. been in touch with Miss Lou felt. Would have you know, felt that warmth. Yeah, and that, that warmth. Goodness of know, spirit. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, no, she's every bit as important as Kevin and Brian Chan said. But do you think she, she, she I mean she is buried in National Heroes Park yes, she is. along with her, her husband uh, Eric Coverley. But do, I mean I'm not too certain what are the requirements for one to be named a, a National Hero. But in our pedestrian way, not knowing the official the official requirements, what do you think she deserves such an elevation? Well, I think the country would say she deserves such an elevation. Um, but as a great fan of Miss Lou's, I would say it doesn't really matter. It's a bias. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't, of um, course. I've heard people who were faced with the possibility of Bob Marley being made an national hero having the same kind of line. Right. You know, when you reach a certain level of national recognition, um, you don't have to put a The legacy is already <laughs> there.